good morning students we are back again with our part 2 that is the chapter 1 evolution of man the continuation in this slide children we are going to just have a short recap of what we have learned in our previous class children you all must remember i explained you about a term called revolution what is revolution the way in which living things change how they change and how they develop over million of years is known as evolution how did life begin on earth i have shown you that also with a diagram i remember and also uh, explained you about uh, the age of the earth like that was about 4500 million years and the uh, some internal forces were also there in the early period which gave rise to the formation of mountains and oceans and the um, about the mount everest also i have explained you where the remains of the animals can be found that once lived in the seabed then i have explained you the term what is vegetation uh, what is vegetation children vegetation is defined as growing of plants without any social or physical activity of someone okay and what is organism organism is an organized living body plants animals birds insects etc is known as organism then we have also gone through the term ice age ice age refers to a period when almost the whole earth was covered with deep sheets of ice then we have also learned about the climatic changes that uh, had taken place during the ice age period and how the animals which were dependent on particular plants for food they had to adjust or adapt according to the changing situation then i have defined the term primates so the term primates actually is a member of the most developed and intelligent group of mammals including us that is humans monkeys and apes in this slide we learn on the topic man stands erect which is given in page number 3 of your ssc book by the very term erect we mean straight so here we learn how man started standing straight now these all points will go through in order to understand this topic so the first point is the apes chimpanzees etc used to live on trees children i am talking about around 10 million years ago when common ancestors of gorilla chimpanzees man these all used to live on trees after that what happened some ape came down from the trees after getting down from the trees they slowly or steadily you'll say they learn how to stand and walk with the help of their forelimbs now what is forelimbs forelimbs or hind legs these terms come when we talk about a quadruped what is a quadruped four footed animal is known as quadruped like monkey we have often seen a monkey he uses two of his legs that is his hands as to eat or to throw things or to hold things so those are known as forelimbs the front two part of the legs are known as forelimbs in fourth point we see children erect position helped man how the straight position helped man to save themselves to save themselves from whom from their enemies and at that time mostly their enemies were the bigger animals the animals which used to attack them so these are at position help to look in all the directions far directions near or far directions so this was quite developing period in which man was going now further we see in point number 5 biological changes were seen now what are biological changes biological changes are those changes which are genetic change what is genetic change which are inherited over several generations 
like uh, some of the things of your grandfather uh, might have come into your father then from your father it transferred to you like that these are known as biological changes so slowly these all things also developed and what happened after that the exercise of climbing trees developed the bones of their wrist as they used to climb the trees slowly and gradually their bones they developed and their wrist became strong so what happened with this wrist they used to easily grasp or handle sticks as their weapons so this also made them craftsmen now this question can come children what made the man craftsman so here you can write the climbing of the trees which developed their bones of their wrist and they which uh, which uh, with which they could easily grasp or handle sticks as weapons this made them craftsmen and the last point we see here children is man started using intelligence in fashioning tools how he developed his brain developed him to use this intelligence to fashion out tools and slowly we see that gradually they were rising above the other animals so they were different from the other animals this is how man was man started becoming different from the animals in this slide children you will come across the pictures which are related to the lesson uh, at the bottom you can see left side bottom you can see the photo of a chimpanzee this picture of a chimpanzee is just like uh, apes or gorilla uh, and right hand side you can see a uh, top on the uh, corner um, right top corner you can see uh, apes i have given the daily exercise they do for the development of bones of the wrist by hanging on the branch with the help of their hands uh, by grasping things like branches so this is how they slowly and gradually developed proceeding on to this slide we come across the topic man learns to make tools and work with his fellows now what do you mean by the term fellow fellow means the partner like children your fellows or your fellow partners are those who sit near you if they are in trouble you share your copies with them so these are fellow you have cooperation right you cooperate with each other so here this is a feature of man see the work which man performed in cooperation with his fellow men he used to cooperate with his fellow men and used to perform the work and with the help of tools this he did with the help of tools actually man was distinguished from the other animal he was separated from the other animal just because of his performing feature like his, he used to perform in cooperation this made him somewhat very different from the other animals in the second point we see the first tools which he used were pieces of stones he started making tools with stones now in the third point we see slowly and gradually what he did he started making many tools and what he did with the tools he changed that object into implement implement means instrument for working provided by nature who provided the stones are of course they are they are they man made things no they are natural things so these things he which nature provided them he changed object into implement that is instrument for working children with the help of this picture we come to know that how man learns to make tools uh, with his fellows that is cooperation is there which we can see 
they are cooperating each other some is doing something some is doing something they are cooperating and here you can also see that they are making tools out of the stones and at the back of this you can see one man is holding a stick which shows that their uh, exercise of climbing trees had made their bones of wrist uh, so accustomed with their hands to grasp things so they can freely handle any object uh, or to hold stout sticks as weapons our next topic is man's power of speech by the term speech we mean the ability to speak so how man has got the power of speaking let us look through these points number 1 every generation of human beings inherits the knowledge of the previous one of course like you have the knowledge how your father has given you and how from where your father has taken from his father that is your grandfather and from where your grandfather has taken from his parents so this is how we have that generation to generation passing of knowledge so we have the knowledge of the previous ones so we inherit from them we take from them okay in number 2 we see they add knowledge and passes to the next generation not only the same knowledge but they add more to it so that more information or more um, knowledge is there to pass it on to the next generation in number 3 we see it is possible through transmission of knowledge what is transmission here now children you can see transmission at the very bottom of your page page number 3 you can see the meaning is given over here children you need to learn all the meanings by heart so transmission means the process of passing something from person to person so it is how this knowledge is possible of course when we transfer that knowledge from person to person now fourth step we'll see the transmission was how the transmission is possible now just because man has the ability to speak if suppose i don't have the ability to speak how would i convey the message or how would i teach you right now i'm teaching you because i am having the ability to speak so that is how children we can understand that man is a very unique feature so this was quite unique feature of a man with that he had the ability to speak just because of that transmission is possible that is passing the knowledge from person to person is possible in this slide children we will learn about the topic species of early man now children what do you mean by species species means different kind or different type of early man so here we'll see into the first point that is the first species of early man was found in which place in africa and were named as what were their names kept like rama pithicus they were known as rama pithicus R A M A Rama P I T H E C U S Rama Pithecus Now number 2 they lived around around 8 million years ago So here the question can be asked they lived around how many million years ago 8 million years ago So in number 3 we see the first ape similar to a man like being was found in who was just similar to a man he was the first ape he was found in which place in central africa these all things children you need to keep in mind and were named as what were they named as they were named as they were named as australopithecus australo pithecus a u s t r a l o p i t h e c u s and in number 4 point the sub species means after the australopithecus so who were there the sub species of australopithecus is 
Zinzanthropus. Zinzanthropus. Z i n j a n t h r o p u s. And they lived around how many years ago? Five lakh years ago. Remember, children, Zinzanthropus. They lived around five lakh years ago. And in number five point, we see number five. They lived naked. They never used to wear any clothes. They used to live naked. Naked means without clothes. And what they used to eat? They used to eat nuts, roots, and insects. Even worms they used to eat. So in uh, they they were naked, and they used to eat nuts, roots, insects, worms, etc. Okay. Number four, uh, sex six point. We see the remains of earliest man like being. The remains of their where it is kept in Asia. They were found where found in Java. So there it was kept. So these all points you all need to remember carefully. Africa, Ramapitaka, eight million years ago. Central Africa, first ape similar to man like being. Then they were named as Australopithecus. Then Zinzanthropus uh, was the Zinzanthropus or the subspecies of Australopithecus. Then they lived around five lakh years ago. They were naked. They used to eat uh, nuts, roots, insects, and the remains of the earliest man-like being in Asia were found in which place? In Java. Okay, children. These all things you need to keep in mind. Here in this slide, children, we come across the evolution of early man and the species of early man. So. following page number 4 of your book children you can see a picture provided over there you can follow that and see how evolution of early man took place how the changes gradually and slowly took place so here species of early man you need to memorize it first is australopithecus then is zinzanthropus Then is Pithecanthropus erectus. Then is Sinsanthropus. Then is Neanderthal man, and then is Cro-Magnon man. That is Homo sapiens. In Latin, they are also called wise men. They are the modern man, which considered itself the most influential species on the planet. Students, you all need to draw. this chart this flow chart of uh, the species of early man into your notebook and learn them by heart here are some questions given to you which are internal you have to copy down in your classwork notebook children so question 1 is how did the ape man become a craftsman so answer to which is the daily exercise of the apes of climbing trees developed the bones of their wrists which made them accustomed to handle objects such as sticks with their flexible fingers this is how man became a craftsman question 2 name the first species of early man answer is the first species of early man were ramapithecus Question three is name the subspecies of Australopithecus. So answer to which is the subspecies of Australopithecus is Zinzanthropus. So children, you need to copy down as well as memorize them. Here in this slide, you will see children. There are some fill in the blanks given to you, which you need to solve on your own, and we'll discuss in our next class. So the first question is the brain developed and helped him to use his dash in fashioning tools. Second question is the remains of the earliest man like beings in Asia were found in dash. The third question is the ability to dash comma makes transmission of knowledge possible. so these all fill in the blanks is three fill in the blanks you need to write down in your notebook and you you solve it and keep so that in next class we'll discuss them 
with the suitable answer to it.